don't feel like doing anything I just want to lay in my bed Don't feel like picking up my phone So leave a message at the tone Cause today I swear I'm not doing anything Yeah, that's kind of how I felt lately. I haven't wanted to do anything. I haven't, I haven't wanted to get out of bed. I have. I've been actually quite busy. Ooh, have you? Did you hear my accent? <laughs> I'm really, really tired. So, um, it's probably gonna come out a lot more. Uh, man, there's a lot of delay on this. A lot more than usual. So sorry, it's probably going to be a lot, a lot more delayed than, than usual. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted to hear about my trip. Um, I did, I posted about it on uh, Mama Kitty Reviews a little bit. Um, I didn't talk too much about it. There's just, there was a lot to talk about. It was two weeks, so. Um, Highlights. We lost uh, we lost my future brother-in-law for about 10 hours the day we got there. We accidentally left him at the airport, and it was really scary at the time it was happening. Um, I didn't say too much while it was going on because I didn't want everybody to be like, oh my god, you're such a weenie. But I was terrified we were never going to see him again. Something was going to happen. But now it's kind of a funny story because... You know, um, he had to hop a, a train to to come see us where we were at the villa because it was two. It was an hour away, two hours away. It was two hours away from the airport, and he ended up teaching other people how to to ride the train. And the whole time we were there, anytime we went somewhere big like a big city like Rome, we would be like, "Hey, brother-in-law." teach us where we were supposed to go, what we do. So, it was it was kind of funny after that, but while this happened, it was scary. Um, when we did go to Rome, um, technically the second week we were there, and it was really the first week, but it was, just, I don't know, hard to explain. <laughs> I'm too tired. Um, uh, it was only really supposed to take us like two hours to get there and it ended up taking us five so we're sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and getting irritated so the train attendant comes through and we're like hey what's going on what's going on why is it taking us so damn long to get there and she's like oh Rome is broken Rome is broken okay can you explain that Rome is broken and she just walks away like okay Turns out there was an explosion at a train station and all of the other trains had to be diverted. So it was kind of a big deal, but the whole room is broken thing was funny. So we made a big joke about it, you know, blaming everybody else. You broke Rome. And so it's, a, it's funnier if you were there, I guess. Um, I have more highlights on Mama Kitty reviews, and if I can figure out how to put the little um, text on the bottom whenever I edit this, then I will try to put it in there. If not, you should know the link if you know me. Um, go there and look at some pictures and see if you can uh, check out the the highlight. Thing. Um, in other news, we are buying a house. I'm not sure when we're going to close because there were some issues uh, with the inspection. We had some plumbing stuff. Excuse me. Uh, the hot water heater needed to be replaced and some other stuff. Um, some electrical stuff had to be redone. But it looks like it's going to go through as far as we know. So. Pretty soon, Mama Kitty is going to have a new house. Yay! I can't wait. I want a house. I want a yard. want room. 
Um, I'm going to have a library. That's going to be so awesome. And it's not just a library in my little office. It's a library in addition to my office. I'm get oh god, I'm so excited. I have video somewhere that I took of me walking through the house. Um, I just, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere on my computer. I've over-organized myself yet again. And I'm talking a lot. I, I see that I'm like 5 minutes and 40 seconds into this, but I haven't talked in a while. Um, the reason that I'm doing a video blog instead of an actual blog is because the day before we went to Italy, stupid bird decided that she wanted to not go into the travel cage because we weren't going to be home for two weeks and uh, sent her to a kennel so that somebody else would take care of her didn't want to leave her home by ourselves or being good bird parents but yeah she didn't want to go in so she ate my hand I don't know if you can see that real well but that ugly nasty scar is a result of seven stitches because she grabbed a hold of my my arm with her stupid little feet and chomped on my hand several times. I lost count of how many because honestly it was too traumatic to try and keep count. Who would, honestly? Uh, it was really awful. There was blood everywhere and lots of screaming, mostly on my part. Some on hers. Uh, I think she was probably laughing at me. Um, I punched her a couple of times. I kicked her. And I'm not advocating that. It's I, I don't do violence against animals, but I was trying to get her off of me. I finally managed to get her into the travel cage and get her to the kennel. I wasn't going to go to the emergency room. But my sister-in-law, who works at the kennel, was like... Yeah, um, I'm going to leave now. She's telling her boss this. Because I had to take my sister-in-law to the emergency room before she loses her finger. Because apparently it was pretty bad. And she was afraid I was going to get an infection. Which was highly likely, apparently. But yeah, I have nerve damage. So this, can't really feel it at all. It's as much as I can bend it. And, yeah, I can touch, which is highly important. All the doctors, anytime I go, ask to do that. It's a bunch of tests, but still can't feel it, and that's really, really important. Writing is, <laughs> it's awful. You should see my scribble scratch right now. It's horrible. Anytime I try and make notes on my books, it's like, shit, I can't even read this. So, trying to type is hard. It, it's, yeah, you don't even realize how often you use, um, use your thumb when you're typing. So, I'm vlogging instead of blogging, and that just sounds really stupid. So, I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope, uh, I've completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, school started yesterday. Um, because we don't have labs or clinicals this week, I have today off. It's not going to happen again for a long time. Well, I mean, uh, Monday's Labor Day, so I'm, I'm going to have that day off. But I'm going to have that day off with PK, and I'm sure he's got something planned. I hope it's something relaxing. I would really like to just hang out by the pool with a beer. Although, this, the, uh, what's it called, the forecast? I wanted to say schedule. It says it's going to rain. If it does rain, I'm okay with that because we need the rain. Mostly because we need it not to be 105 degrees anymore. I think it was 104 when I was in the car earlier. God, it's hot. It's probably why we're all so freaking tired because our bodies are not used to this heat and we're not hydrating enough. Speaking of... And I'm hitting the 10 minute mark. So, 
Anybody has any questions? Here.